Greetings from Jair Bajaj. Today we are going to talk about factors contributing to successful interviews. So for facing an interview successfully, you need to be dressed for the occasion. So dressing for the interview, I would say, is the, uh, one of the very, very important factors that contributes uh, towards a successful interview. Your appearance, your grooming, uh, all these are very, very important and uh, they form the first impression of you even before you open up your mouth. So uh, dressing for the interview is very, very important and uh, you should give a lot of serious thoughts and careful consideration to what you are going to wear to the interview. So once you've reached there and uh, you've uh, dressed for the occasion and you've greeted and wished the interviewer, the other important thing is that you need to establish a rapport with the interviewer. So you need to ensure that your skill as well, your per, as, well as your personality is a good match. And uh, the interview, uh, interviewer's job is to ensure that they are recruiting the right person. So you need to uh, gel well with the interviewer and convince the interviewer that you are the right person. Uh, so let the interviewer set the tone. That doesn't mean you uh, should uh, start, you know, um, uh, getting uh, too personal, uh, do not do that. Uh, let the interviewer set the tone of the interview and uh, you should be, you know, uh, very affable. Uh, you should be very open, uh, relaxed and uh, uh, how you are, you know, uh, sitting, all these things, uh, all this tell us about you as an individual. So please uh, maintain eye contact and just smile and ensure that uh, your body language is just correct for the interview. The other thing is that when the interviewer is asking you a question, you need to answer the question. So how you're answering that. In uh, one of the other videos I've talked about uh, uh, what you should be saying in your answers, uh, depending upon your achievements and your life skills. So here we are not focusing on what you should be saying, but how you should be answering. So speak slowly and clearly. Pause before you answer a question. Uh, give the interviewer time to register what you're saying. So your answers should seem less rehearsed and that they should get uh, give you a chance to collect your thoughts that what you want to say into this particular question. A very brief pause may seem like an eternity to you, but it is actually not. You can take brief pauses, you can think, and then you can answer. Even though in the previous uh, uh, videos, we've told you to be very well prepared by rehearsing all your answers, but you do not have to show it at the time of the interview. The other important thing is that you uh, might be asked to ask a question. So asking of the question is very, very important and uh, you should have some questions number one and you should uh, you could ask the uh, you know questions related to the project that you're going to work on and uh, like uh, shared uh, in the previous video as well please do not talk about your uh, salary or you know uh, anything uh, like that just focus on the uh, aspects of the job then just uh, like the verbal communication the non-verbal communication is equally important so what is the non-verbal communication that you should especially be focusing on is first the eye contact. Maintain good eye contact with the interviewer while you are answering questions. This tells us that whatever you're saying is correct, it's true, and uh, there's no falsehood in whatever you're saying. And that you are not, it seems that you're uh, very much interested in the job and that you have a good attention span. So all this is what we glean from a good eye contact. And if you maintain uh, to uh, have an eye contact while speaking, it shows lack of confidence as well. And uh, so therefore, like I said, it might seem that you are lying. Not necessary, but it might seem like that. That's how people might perceive it. And do not just assume to have a good eye contact is enough. Ask questions, watch them, how they are behaving, how they are responding, and then practice that. Uh, so you can prepare for this in advance as well by doing mock interviews uh, with your friends, uh, with your relatives who are in good positions. Uh, ask them to give you a mock interview before you go. And then ask them how you were speaking. Uh, was the tone good? Was the speed okay? Were you giving good eye contact? And all these things. 
and uh, uh, practice uh, maintaining continuous eye contact. The facial expressions, uh, they mirror your thoughts. So take a good look at yourself in the mirror. Uh, look at uh, yourself uh, like others will do. Uh, so do not uh, wear uh, glasses uh, uh, because uh, then glasses means uh, do not try to hide uh, from yourself what you see in the mirror truly. So do not do that. You need to be very, very critical of yourself. See yourself as others would be looking at you and then modify your facial expression. Uh, eliminate any negative overall characteristics that might exist and adding a simple feature that nearly you know every interviewer uh, likes is a genuine smile and every interviewee forgets is a genuine smile so uh, please uh, practice smiling and uh, uh, always smile when you're giving the interview appear relaxed appear relaxed and uh, this will uh, help the interview decide uh, that they do, they want to see your smiling face every day or in the company or not. Your posture at the time of the interview is very, very important. So it signals confidence and power uh, about uh, your potential. Uh, so uh, stand tall, walk tall and sit tall. Uh, so even if a uh, height uh, is, uh, you know, not good enough, but any height is good enough and you, it's how you portray yourself so you need to sit tall and walk tall so that is uh, what we're trying to say here uh, so uh, when you are seated make sure you sit at the front of the chair slightly leaning forward uh, because that shows an attentive uh, posture and uh, that shows that you are very much into the interview you are you know looking forward to the interview and uh, that this interview is really important for you your gestures uh, should be very, very limited during the interview and uh, do not use any, you know, waving of the hand uh, or uh, heightening the importance of the issue at hand by, you know, theatrical uh, gestures. Please avoid doing that. And uh, whatever gesture you are using with your hands, you know, trying to put a point across and all these things. So uh, ensure that they are meaningful and sincere. Space is another very, very important aspect and uh, personal space is, uh, is something uh, which uh, can differ from people to people. For some, the personal uh, space might be a good distance uh, and for some, it might be a very short distance. So you need to understand that personal space of the interviewer so that you do not you know, antagonize the person by entering it into their personal space. So 30 to 36 inches is what most Americans feel is a good range. And uh, however, like I told you, uh, it uh, differs from person to person and you will consciously know uh, that uh, space uh, because if you try to come within that space, the person has the tendency to back, go back. Uh, so if they are doing that, so enter, understand that you've entered the personal space and you need to step back a bit and then talk. Uh, so some of the important things uh, that you need to keep in mind is uh, uh, reach the venue in time and wait patiently for your turn. Always ensure that you are at the venue 15 minutes, good 15 minutes uh, before uh, your interview uh, because time is something which is very, very crucial when you're talking about corporate skills and etiquettes. Uh, be brief and spontaneous in your responses. Uh, do not show that uh, you have actually rehearsed and learned all your answers. Uh, present the relevant matter in an organized manner. Uh, support your views with mature and proper arguments uh, from the corporate world uh, and uh, never use any political uh, uh, no, discussion because we do not know what is the political orientation of the person who's taking your interview, uh, but uh, keep it very, very professional and related to the corporate world. Uh, use humor. Uh, that is if you feel that that humor is going to go right uh, with the person who's going to interview you. Uh, so if not, if you're not very confident, please avoid it. Uh, be honest in referring to the events, situations and experiences. And uh, this is also true because whatever uh, dishonesty you might be you know, using uh, will come to the fore sooner or later and we do not uh, want that to happen. To, uh, we do not want anyone to question our integrity. So always be very, very honest 
and be your usual self uh, feel at ease with the situation uh, just go with the flow because you've really prepared and worked hard and that's why you've come to here till here so now what is just left is to tell the other person about yourself and your achievements and your accomplishments uh, which is good enough uh, for that you really need to be a good listener as well you need to listen carefully to the questions to the statements and the comments that are being made uh, be perceptive of the signals of the interviewer's uh, body language. Uh, look at the verbal and the non-verbal communication as well. Try to answer both. Uh, speak in a conversational style. Uh, you know, do not use words uh, which you feel that the interviewer might not understand. Uh, so just uh, go in the flow uh, of the language that is being used by the interviewer. Uh, you can speak uh, in the local dialect also if uh, they start off in the local dialect. Uh, but uh, even if you're speaking in English, please do not use some very difficult words which you feel you are going to show your knowledge of the words, but you know, it might uh, not go well with the person who's taking your interview. So body language should not show any oddities like blinking of the eye or raising of the eyebrows or you know rolling of the eyes or just trying to say oh what is this question that you've asked me kind of a thing uh, or playing with the keys and the pen because uh, that shows that you've been very fidgety and restless and you cannot focus on anything and your attention span is really less. Uh, so all these things should be avoided and uh, whatever you're doing, whatever you are answering, show at most courtesy in manners and in speech. Uh, please uh, do not uh, go informal in your interview at all or even if uh, the other person is doing that might be uh, to check uh, your level of understanding of how to give an interview. So please uh, they can say anything but as an interviewee uh, you have to be very very cautious and you have to uh, exhibit at most courtesy uh, through your manners and your speech. Creating a positive impact is important, but uh, you need to avoid any negative impact as well. So do not give any irrelevant information uh, which uh, you feel might uh, not be important for that particular job profile. For example, you might be an excellent singer, but the job profile does not require that. So you need not give that irrelevant information. Uh, do not give excessive details uh, about the topic uh, under discussion. Understand that, you know, uh, the non-verbal non communication from the interviewer and if you feel that they want you to stop, please stop. Uh, do not try to change the topic of the discussion. Let the interviewer do that. Let them set the tone of the interview. You can guide that by you know, bringing up a skill and then waiting for them to ask questions related to that. But uh, please do not yourself change the topic. Any hasty generalizations should be avoided. Uh, do not give any evasive uh, reply in bit to hide your ignorance. If you do not know anything, it's good enough to own up in front and say, I'm sorry, I do not know that. Uh, I will get back to you. And then when you're sending a thank you note for the interview, please uh, do mention uh, the question that you could not answer and the relevant answer for that and thank the person for increasing your knowledge about that. Uh, you can take uh, moments, uh, you can take pauses, uh, but not very long ones. Uh, that shows you do not know and you do not want to commit as well. And uh, if you feel that the situation requires you not to smile because if there's some serious uh, discussion going on, please do not smile. Uh, but uh, if you feel that, yes, it's a pleasant discussion going on, you can, you know, uh, give your answer and end with a smile and waiting for the next question. So that was about how you can uh, face interviews. I hope these tips are uh, important and uh, which you keep in mind and they are helpful for you when you give your interviews. Thank you.